Please be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is the case of Nichols v. Young. Thank you, Ron. Good day, everyone. Ms. Nichols, you've dragged the defendant, Mr. Young, to court today because you say he denies he's the father of your 13-month-old daughter, Sine. Yes, Your Honor. You say it's time for him to step up and take responsibility. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Young, you say you refuse to accept Sine because you claim that Ms. Nichols was already pregnant when you began your relationship and you refuse to allow her to trap you with another man's baby. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Young, so why do you believe she's trying to pin a child on you? Well, she doesn't like the fact that I moved on and I have a new relationship and she's all about getting money out of me. She knows that I was treating her good. She's been lying since the first time I met her, just making my life miserable. Have you been making his life miserable, Ms. Nichols? Uh, no, Your Honor, I have not. He started denying my daughter before his new relationship. He actually started denying her when I moved out of his house because he was cheating. Really? I've known Mr. Young for 19 years. We met when we were 15 years old. And when I met him again on Facebook, you know, we automatically moved in together, you know. That's a lie. We didn't automatically move in. She hit me up on Facebook talking about because she'd been trying to find me and she was wanting to see me. And so when she came over, she was still on the same thing she was when I first met her, trying to get back in the, in the bed with me, like, like always. Wow. So there was no instant connection, like she said, Mr. Young? I mean, no, there was no instant connection like that. I mean, I, I, um, I, I, Honor, was, I was getting I... out of a relationship and then she hit me up like, hey, I want to come over. I ain't seen you in a long time. Uh, can we hang out? So we hang out and then... Your Honor, I was, we started I was living here. with a roommate that was moving to Georgia and I didn't know where I was going to go. So Mr. I Young... Know, I didn't know I shook it that he could be a roommate. Mr. Young and his family member that he was living with at the time said, well, Tasha, come on and stay with us. From October 13th until October 15th, we lived together. One year. An entire year? An entire year. And during that time, you all were having a sexual relationship as well? Only that, yes. yes. You said only that? Yeah, because it was nothing more. That's all she wanted to do. Um, you know, there's plenty of statuses on my Facebook where us together, he even had uh, changed Facebook. his relationship status to where we were in a relationship. Really? Yes, ma'am. He told me he loved me the first night that I was there. That's, That's why I lie. never left. That's a lie. She, she didn't have nowhere to go because she was being evicted and the guy she was staying with at the time was a sugar daddy. I he was not, no, he was, was not my sugar daddy. And I was not being evicted. She was telling this man, she was telling this sugar daddy man. I could not afford that apartment by myself. She was telling this man that I was And I was, I was not homeless because I have family I was, she members was telling that would not let me be out in the street. I, One at a time. She was telling this man that she was living with that I was her cousin. Yes, he I would absolutely be bring, did. When he was bringing her over to my house, dropping her off, and she telling me that he's just a friend of the family, but couldn't find out no, he I did was the not. man that she was sleeping with. No, you're not. Okay, honor. wait a minute. Who is this man? He's a friend of mine. Do you have sex with him? No, I do not. You sh oh, you don't have How sex old with him? is he? 73. Woo. 73. Whoa. And he calls him your sugar daddy. What does he do for you? any and everything I ask him to. Mm, right, exactly. And, and your honor, since he wants to go there, he had no problem with this man when we were hungry, but, and I would call him and he would bring us something to eat. You know, anything I, I called and asked this man for, he would come. If I, if I needed a ride to work, because he couldn't take me. He couldn't provide me with no bus money or anything. Hold on, so you got a little sugar from the sugar daddy, too. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sweet. Mr. Young, do you believe this sugar daddy is Sine's father? Yes, is that what you're asserting yes, today in court? She's the same color as him and she looks like him. And so you asked the court to order a lie detector test to determine if Miss Nichols had slept with this particular man. And she told me he, she had, Your Honor. She told no, me that she I used didn't. to. She told me she used to sleep with him before. She cut it off. No, I didn't. So she told I herself, told, ain't no, I told I her, told, ain't no man I gonna be giving him, her no money without I, him not getting nothing in return. She said, I told oh, well, that we he's had just a friend of the contact, family. Never intercourse. Sexual contact. What was sexual never contact? Never intercourse. What's sexual contact? You don't contact? know the difference between sexual contact sexual and intercourse? Contact? That means you sleeping with him. And she also had another young fella before that that she was messing with before I got with her, too. And his mama so told her that she still was, messed with it him. Was, it was before you. And you were still messing How with him until now. Him he still, was, he his was own mama said you still he haven't left him alone. So unless they give conjugal visits without us being married, then that's the only reason that I could be sleeping with this man. So you He's believe that's why you're not Sinai's biological father because she was intimate with other people? Yes, ma'am. Yes, Your Honor. But you told him, Ms. Nichols, you never had intercourse with... Yes. That, ..that man. 
That's and right. what about the other guy? Were you sleeping with him, too? No, I had broke up with that man two years before he came along. Well, she said she broke up in a relationship. Don't you, don't you mess around with people? So but I was, was, I was broke them. up with him before I started messing with you, Sean. So you he was in down. jail. The in... man was in jail. Yeah, okay. I have not heard from this man. Well, I heard from him constantly on Facebook telling me not to believe nothing you say because you're always sleeping around and you ain't never going to stop messing with the sugar daddy. He himself told me that. And your but, family oh, members. Okay. His mama told me. Everybody okay. didn't tell okay. me. Okay, well, y'all, y'all, y'all so much talking about my sugar daddy. I haven't, I haven't lied to either one of them about this man. Yes, you okay? did lie to the, You lied to the sugar daddy about me and you lied to me Yeah, I lied to, I lied to him about you, but I did not lie to Sean about him. So you, you said you lied to the sugar daddy about sh- Mr. Young. Yes, right, I did. Because he didn't want him to get cut what off. What did you say? Stuff. I told him that he was my cousin. Yep. Oh, okay. Right. If there wasn't anything romantic going on, why he say... He would cut my funds off. See? About money. All about money. Well, she... Yeah. You... I mean, we asked her the question, she answered it. I mean, if it's the truth, it's the truth. And it's just like, he's sitting here trying to make me like I'm, like I'm just a, a, a whore or a thought or something, and I'm neither. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. When you got pregnant, Miss Nichols, you told him? He told me I was pregnant. Really? Uh, We were just sitting around and he just kept looking at me and I'm like, well, you know, what are you looking at? He was like, well, yeah, pregnant. I'm like, yeah, right. You know, I didn't believe I was pregnant. A couple days later, I went to the doctor and I was pregnant. Did you believe it was your child then, Mr. Young? At first, I did, but then when I started looking at the dates when the baby was born, the dates don't add up. The, the baby was due in August. She had her at the end of May, so how can I be my baby? Um, hold on. Let me see if I can understand this. Miss Nichols, do you remember the night you believe you conceived? I say around the middle of no- November, around the 15th, give or take. And if you calculate this conception date, your due date would be approximately August 12th, 2015. That's, that was my exact due date. And when was Sine born? May 28th. Right. May 28th. She was 11 weeks early, Your Honor. Mr. Young, no. this leads you to believe this is not your biological child. It didn't, it didn't add, it just didn't really just add up to me. Because you, the baby, you, you the baby feel... was dark and, and it just, and she had like my, almost told, all my like kids have a cleft. Him. Most of all my kids have a cleft, and none of my kids are dark skinned. Like I told him, it's genes. She's getting older. She's starting to look like her sugar daddy. She's starting to look like the man. All right. I have administered a lie detector test, Mr. Young, because you believe Ms. Nichols is not telling you the truth. Yes, so ma'am. she submitted to a lie detector test, and I have those results. Ron? Ma'am. Thank you. Ms. Nichols? you met with a licensed polygraph examiner. When we asked you if once you began a sexual relationship with Sean, did you have sexual intercourse with anyone else, you said yes. Yes. Wow. And the lie detector determined you were being truthful. Mr. Young? You seem surprised by that. No, I don't. I'm, just, I'm saying, wow, because I already knew that. I knew that she was messing around because I told you people had been he telling didn't me know. that. The guy, mother of the young person she was messing with told me and friends of her own family told me. All right. Now, when asked if you had sexual contact with the man you refer to as your sugar daddy, you said no. And the lie detector test determined you were being deceptive. We have had sexual contact before, never intercourse, and it was not while I was with Sean. So does this further fuel your doubt, Mr. Young? Oh, I'm on fire right now. <laughs> I'm on fire because I knew this. All I wanted her to do was tell oh, me the okay. truth. okay. Has the man that Mr. Young refers to as the sugar daddy done anything for Sinai? He does everything for her. I wonder why. I can't call you. You know why you can't call me? Because you, you constantly cussing me out, calling me B's and F's Stop and some of my like guns and everything you could think of Stop underneath your like belt. Stop acting like one. 
I'm not going to sit there and let nobody be disrespected. I don't disrespect you. You shouldn't disrespect me. If it's all about the child, when you call me, it should be about the baby. Keep it as that. Right. It me and you be are like no that. longer more. Why like should, well, then you need to stop texting match. me and telling me how much you miss me Woman, and please, how much, go how much you go want to marry me. Don't and, go there with yeah, that. Marry yeah, you. Yeah, I went there. Yeah, I'm going to marry you. I went there. Wait a minute now. I thought this was over and he had moved on. Uh, exactly. we, we did move That's on real, and he yeah. came back into our lives in the middle of May and we started having sex again. The last time was just three weeks ago. Girl, please. He was just at my house five days ago, but we didn't have sex because I had company. Mr. Young, are you still going over her house? No, I'm not going over her house, Your Honor. If I were going over her house, Your Honor, no, I have a text that. message from him. Uh, Ron, let me see that. This text message says, I would love to marry you if you could respect me and stop talking to me the way you do. If you did that, you would and could never lose me. The date is 6-13, June 13th at 2.28 p.m. This is a text from you. This woman right here has been known to change stuff around. I did not see that right there. That don't mean nothing. I could have said that months ago or wherever. The date was is right there. The so I don't believe nothing she said. Okay, so now let's get to it. So did you say this? Let's take away the date and the time. Did you say this? No, I did not. At some point? No. Go ahead and tell the truth. I'm telling you the truth. I did not write that to her on that date. No, I did He's not. On not on that date. I'm just asking, did you here. write this to her? Period. Do you remember those words? I write her a lots of stuff that before. <laughs> when we used to be together. When we That's used to right. be together. When That's we used right. to be he together. I should send her all types of stuff. At my hotel. I'm sorry, Miss Nichols. He texted me last night and asked me, was I okay in what hotel I was at? <laughs> so, Mr. Young, when was the last time you were intimate with Miss Nichols? Months ago. Like three, four months ago. June 9th. Months and months ago. <laughs> all right, I'd like to hear from your witness. Ma'am, please stand. State your name for the court. Laquita Strode. Miss Strode, you are Mr. Young's... Girlfriend. Girlfriend, new yes, girlfriend. Yes, ma'am. Um, do you believe Sine is his biological daughter? Actually, Your Honor, all of the family is stating, oh, that's not your baby, that's not your baby, but I'm the only one out of everybody that's given her the benefit of the doubt and saying this may be your child. Why do you feel that way? Because, to me, some of her features do resemble Sean. And if it's a chance that this, this baby could be his, he needs to know. And just not listen to what everybody else can say because I'm not the one... I'm not here to bash anybody. I'm just trying to get the truth just like everybody else. She's asserted that he's still trying to have a romantic relationship with her. And if that's the uh, situation, he can have her. I will say this, Ms. Strode, because you speak so eloquently. But from what I witnessed today... Your boyfriend is still right along with it. Ex you, that's why I said what I said. I mean, he is mm -hmm. right in the thick of it with Miss Nichols. They don't miss a beat. Absolutely. And when he Absolutely. talks about this sugar daddy, his body language, he just gets enraged. Absolutely. Your Honor, I'm not a bad person. I even offered for a... Uh, try to get a DNA test when the baby was first born. No, you didn't, because the they could've... They she would've did upset. it in the hospital and I she would've was, been glad. She was upset because she had just had the baby and she, and she was all upset. Like, Sean, you, you gonna, never mentioned that in the hospital. Are you gonna put me through this when well, I Well, then why did you sign the birth certificate? I don't recall signing a birth certificate, Your Honor. Boy, are you crazy? <laughs> His name is on there. Let me see if I have it in the court just file. Just show me, I'd like to see you. Hmm, look at there. I ain't, I, I ain't write that. Sine and Marie Young, father's name, Sean Dale Young Sr. That's you? That's me. They wouldn't put it on there if you didn't sign it. You, you hear the key word? They put on it because she told them... I they would not I'd put write your write name on there if you did not sign it, Mr. Young. Miss Nichols. <laughs> so you say you didn't sign this birth certificate? I don't recall signing nothing, ma'am. And do you remember him participating in this part of the process, Miss Nichols? Yes, ma'am. Did he go to the hospital? Yes, he was there. Aww. That's him while she was still in the hospital. That's a beautiful picture. You don't look like you have doubt in that picture. Your Honor, her attitude and the way she treats me is it, it, it's, it's, it's bogus. That's why I want to make sure that I'm taking care of a child that's mine. I think he's a big coward that doesn't want any more responsibility. I'm just not going to take care of a kid that, that's not mine. Moving on. You all ready for these results? Yes, yes ma'am. All right. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. 
Do you want to watch Paternity Court on TV? Go to paternitycourt.tv to find your local listings. In the case of Nichols versus Young, when it comes to 13-month-old Sinead Young, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Young, you are her father. Surprise, surprise. Oh. Look like him. I know. And I see tears in your eyes because what do you feel in this Because, moment? like, his dad wasn't in his life. So he should know that how I would feel, how his mom felt. Break the cycle. Now we know this is your biological daughter. Yes, ma'am. That's what I mean. You I'm can't here. keep going on the way you're going. This little girl is going to grow up with all of this negative energy surrounding her and fighting and arguing back and forth, and she doesn't deserve that. I want you all to start talking about and figuring out how you do this together without ending up together. You know, I can tell when somebody's done with somebody. I am. Because, no, your body language, your energy, everything about what you're doing back hurts does not... Ones. No, that's not what I'm talking about. Baby, I practiced law way too long and had too many people on the stand for you to think you can stand here in this courtroom and tell all these lies you and told, and I believe it? If you're gonna co-parent, do that well. If you can't be together in a relationship, sexual or otherwise, without creating drama, cut it. I wish you all the very best of luck. Court is adjourned. <laughs>